and welcome to Signature TV News Highlights for this Thursday. I'm Damilola Arekbeshela. Police in Zamfara have again secured the release of 11 kidnapped victims made up of eight men, three women without ransom. The victims, who had been in captivity for six days, were abducted at Yakofuji village in Bakura Luki government area of Zamfara state. A press statement signed by the spokesperson of the Zamfara State Police Command, Superintendent Sheo Muhammad says they have been reunited with their families. The rescue of the 11 kidnapped victims is coming as after abductors of the Bakura student and staff of College of Agriculture and Animal Science release a video of threats to kill them if ransom is not paid within 24 hours. The All Progressives Congress APC has announced September 4, 2021 for its local government area congresses. This was disclosed in a statement by Senator John Akpanudu Dehe. Secretary of APC Kiatek and Extraordinary Convention Planning Committee on Wednesday in Abuja. Apadu Dodohe said nomination forms for the position of local government chairman will cost 25,000 naira. Local government vice chairman, secretary and treasurer will cost 15,000 naira. The APC spokesman said local government congresses, including three-man delegate for the party's national convention, would be on September 4th while appeals arising from the Congresses will be from September 6 to 11. President Mahmoud Obari on Wednesday in Abuja said Nigeria lost an estimated $50 billion worth of investment in 10 years. This, according to him, was as a result of the uncertainty of the non-passage of the Petroleum Industry Bill, lack of progress and stagnation in the petroleum industry. In his remarks at a ceremony on passage of the PIA, which preceded the Federal Executive Council meeting, the president said the stagnation affected the growth of the economy, citing lack of political will on the path of past administrations to actualize the needed transformation. The Nigeria Center for Disease Control, NCDC, has recorded 1,149 new cases of coronavirus, the highest number of infections in any single day since February 2020. It said that 1,149 new cases were reported from 15 states and the federal capital territory. With the latest figure, the total number of infections in Nigeria now stands at 184,593. The NCDC, which disclosed this on its official website handle on Thursday morning, said the 1,149 include the 393 reported from Lagos on Tuesday. The new infections were an increase from the 357 cases reported on Tuesday. According to the NCDC, the surge is driven by the highly transmissible Delta variant and the low vaccination rate in the country. The Minister for Youth and Sports Development, Sunday Dari, has lauded Nigerians' 4 times 400 meter miss relay team for their historic feat at the ongoing World Athletics Under 20 Championship in Nairobi, Kenya. It was Nigerians' first medal in the championship, which began on Wednesday in Kenya. The delighted sports minister advised the athletics body to take the victory as a springboard in restoring the country's past glory. Safety and security begins with you. Be patriotic. Report any suspicious activity to law enforcement agencies. Please stay safe. That's the Signature TV News highlight. For details, visit www.signaturetv.org. And please do join us later in the evening for Signature TV News Update. On behalf of my producer Nasir Usman, thanks for watching. I am Damilola Aregbeshela.